Uh, Jokic is an amazing player. They're a young team. They're going to have a lot of success going forward. So uh, they have my utmost respect um, on what not only what they did in the regular season, but what they did in the playoffs. So I would be remiss if I didn't say that. So your question? My emotions? Um, you know, this is arguably uh, the biggest win that we've had in the franchise for, for a long time. And uh, to be a part of it, to do it the way we did, uh, I, I'm just uh, I'm thrilled. I'm really happy for our guys. You know, as a coach, you I think you experience the, the joy of the team. Uh, Having different guys come in, Rodney go down, Evan coming in, and and you know he probably he scored more points tonight than he scored in the whole series probably. Um, you know, it's just to do it in different ways. Myers coming out, just it's such a group, such a group thing. And as a coach, that's what you appreciate the most. Coach, uh, you called timeout about four and a half minutes into the second quarter. You're down 17 points, 39-22. What do you tell? <laughs> your team at that point to keep them engaged when the frustration level had to be enormous? Actually, um, I mean, they're, they're engaged. Uh, I don't, there wasn't going to be any quit. Uh, I don't think they ever stopped believing. I didn't really have to say much. I don't know what I said, but I didn't have to say much because it was still early enough in the game where we've found ways to come out of those holes. So, um, it was just about regrouping. And again, I get talk about the trust and, uh, trust and competing are the two biggest things for us. Uh, Terry Ohm Young, this is with ESPN. Uh, in the first round, Dame kind of sealed that series, and then tonight it was CJ sealing the second round. What have you seen from these guys? Um, they've long wanted to kind of be known and recognized as one of the best backcourts, and now you guys are about to face Steph and Clay. Uh, it's, a, it's a luxury to have two guys like that who can find ways to score in different ways. You know, CJ does it in one way, Dame does it in another. Uh, on a night where where Dame struggled shooting the ball, CJ came up big. Um, that's what uh, you know. Being part of a team, so those two guys, you know, when, if one of them, mostly one of them's going to have something going. So you kind of count on that. And um, you know, it's it was CJ tonight, but it's it's a luxury to have two guys who can who can score like that. Terry Michael Spencer from CBS here in Denver. You guys hold them to two of 19 from the three-point line. Did you do anything different defensively or just cold shooting on their part? Uh, you know, I'd like to say that we closed out a little bit better, didn't give them quite the same looks. We didn't double team as much. Uh, we didn't give up any threes in transition. You know, as far as missing shots, you know, um, I think it's always a little bit of both. Some of it's our defense. Some of it, they missed some shots. Um, you know, Jokic hit those first two. Uh, I don't think we gave him any clean looks after that. Um, but one of our focus defensively was closing out under control so that you know you can take away three and take away the drive, and I thought we did a better job with that. It's probably not so much their shooting percentage, but the fact they only, you know, they only took 19. Terry, you've had a lot of faith in Evan Turner this year. Expound a little bit on the performance he gave you there in the second half especially. Well, you know, Evan um, quietly had a really good series. I know everybody kind of looks at his scoring, and, but – that second unit, our second unit was was really good throughout this series, all seven games. Uh, we made runs with the second unit, and Evan was a part of that. His ability to guard Paul Millsap one-on-one -on -one in the post gave us the ability to space the court on offense and have him be a ball handler. Um, you know, he played the entire fourth quarter in game six, played, the, uh, played a lot of the, uh, I don't know if he played the entire fourth quarter tonight, but he was big. And Evan's been in big games. He's a big game player. Um, He's got a lot of confidence. He's a team guy, and he kind of does whatever whatever we need him to do. Coach, you brought a, you brought out a different lineup to start the second half. Um, the second half was a completely different game. Uh, what were the strategic uh, changes that you were, that you made? Well, you know, it was, honestly, it was nothing against Mo or Chief. Um, our our starters had hadn't done well throughout this series, and especially on the heels of game six where Rodney and Zach had an impact on the game. Uh, we were having trouble scoring. So uh, starting Rodney and Zach uh, seemed, seemed the right thing to do, especially with our season in the balance. So uh, that to me was, wasn't too difficult a decision. Um, the fact Mo came in and gave us some really good minutes uh, when, when we got in foul trouble. Uh, you know, Myers coming in when Zach got foul trouble. So it was those guys that, Necessarily, we didn't necessarily count on early, but uh, but.
but as far as to your question about changing the lineup, uh, that was – if Rodney and Zach hadn't done what they'd done in game six, maybe I wouldn't have done that. But it was seemed like the right thing to do. Terry, Joe Varden from The Athletic. Going back to post-game five now, you're down 3-2. It was a rough one here. What – was the mindset of the team then? And if you felt like this would be possible, what what was it that made you feel good even after that one? Um, the fact that other than game five, every game's been competitive. And regular season, playoff game, they've all been very competitive. Going back home obviously gives you a little bit more confidence. And, um, you know, it's we just played a poor game in game five. I mean, there's no getting around. If we had lost a tough one and you kind of look at what ifs, but we just – we didn't play well. And – um, I think we were able to push that aside because it, we didn't give it uh, – I, I don't want to say effort, but we just didn't – we didn't play well. And it was, that's why it's kind of easy to uh, kind of forget about that one.